So earlier in the semester, we created a few sheets for some of the drawings. And so A101, A102, and A103. You know, I think that some of it doesn't really show us a whole lot of information. So I think we're going to compress this down to, to one drawing for these, and then we'll have a cover sheet. So I'm going to eliminate some of the drawings. I think I'll start with A103 and take, I'm clicking on them and hitting delete to remove those. We developed a drawing that's called longitudinal section looking north, and that has not been brought to a sheet yet. So I'm going to bring it to this A103 sheet. And um, again, some of this information doesn't really need to appear on all of these, and we'll go to that and we'll start to edit that a little bit. But um, and I'll take this one out. This is the north elevation because it doesn't really provide much more information than we have. Now, the question is, do we need both a north elevation and this section? Normally, with a set of drawings, you would include all four elevations of a structure. We're kind of approaching this with a slightly different idea in mind. Um, and so I think that this view probably doesn't tell us a whole lot either. But the other drawing that we want to include in this eighth inch scale is a view showing the roofs. So there's a level called level four. And right now, when I go to it, nothing appears very likely to do with the view range. So I'm gonna type in VR. And I'm going to go to unlimited and unlimited and apply. And OK, so this view is showing um, the roof conditions for all four. And it perhaps tells us a little bit more than any of the other plan drawings. So I think we will keep this in our set of final drawings. And we can do a little bit of work with some of the graphics. So for one thing, so we have this contour um, showing. Let's see, if I turn on the crop window, I'm gonna bring this in because we wanna give the sense that the contours don't really end at our site, but they continue on. And I don't know that this will fit on the sheet very well anyway. So we're going to bring it in a little bit and then we'll check and see how it does. Um, we have these section targets noted. Those are okay to keep. We're not going to be including any elevation drawings. So um, we may want to hide this. I don't think there's any um, elevations that we'll, we'll show. So I'm going to hide the category. And you'll notice they all went off. There's no elevation targets around anywhere. Um, also, under manage, I'm going to adjust the weight of those contours. They're coming in too heavy. So I'll go to the bottom where it says topography, expand that view. And I'm going to change the line weight both in projection and in the cut views. Actually, I'm going to bring them down to one. We don't need them to have that number two heavier weight. So when we zoom in, and hopefully when we look at them in the on the plan view, they look. And I'm going to rename this from level four to roof level. And we'll change it everywhere. It shouldn't have any effect on anything. Let's go back to that 103 sheet. And I'm going to drag that roof plan onto the sheet. It's already on 102. OK, so let's go to 102. We're probably going to eliminate this one anyway, delete it. 
Go back to three and let's try to drag it in again. You can make a duplicate if you needed to for some reason, have a view appear on two sheets. All right, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more cropping of that. And I think we can eliminate our south elevation because we're not really, except for the, I'm gonna bring it back for a moment. Um, the only notation we have that isn't appearing anywhere else is the notation for this part of the, um, so we may want to keep that. And so now what I'm going to do is go into this roof plan and do a little bit more adjusting of the contours. I'm going to bring them in quite close. I'm going to bring column lines out. Same thing here. And we'll see how those targets look in a moment, um, but we need the space on the sheet. And as I've mentioned previously, it's good to make good use of the sheet. In other words, not have a lot of empty space. Let's see how our sheet looks now. Okay, maybe it looks a little crowded, but I think with a little bit more editing, we can get this cleaned up and looking as it should. I'm gonna go to that roof plan. I'm gonna turn off the crop window. We go back to level three or a sheet A103. Move it up a bit, move it over. So the column lines fit. And I'm gonna to need to drag um, the section targets in closer. You can see this tail right here is much shorter. So I'll do that too. But before I get into that, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on this section. So I'm gonna to go to my longitudinal section looking north and begin to do some editing here. And I think to be consistent, we'll just eliminate, I'll just, I'm gonna eliminate the category in full. So apologies for taking you through that. Um, and those will be picked up when we go to um, the individual sheets, transverse sections that have more correspondence to what we're looking at. Okay, I think we're probably brought in about as close as we can. Maybe we'll try just a little bit. Same thing with these. Right, that one I'm gonna delete. I'm not using that one any longer. And let's also bring in the crop window here. And we do wanna crop the view, but we wanna turn off the crop window. Let's go to our sheet and see how it looks. Okay, there's the roof level plan. We're just gonna move it up there slightly. And I'm gonna continue to do a little bit of work on this elevation sheet down here. So that one is the south elevation. And again, we wanna turn on the crop window and really bring this in closer. Bring these section targets in closer.
Right now, I'm also going to hide the category for the datums. I think that will just be confusing. I'm going to move this one up to align with the other ones. Let's bring our crop window up higher and bring it in closer. Return to that sheet. We're getting close here. Um, I'm going to bring in these section tails so that they're closer to the structures. So this is a roof level here. Bring it into the, align it with the other ones. That one's probably gonna be okay. And bring these in a little bit too. And let's go back to sheet 103. For the crop window down here, bring it up closer a little bit to the details. And so that's a section or rather elevation south. I'll turn off the crop window. Okay, now we can begin to work a little bit with our detailed titles. Remember you wanna grab it and just use your arrow keys to manipulate it a little bit and then bring the tail in so it's inside the border. Same thing with the one for the section. It's very tight, um, all of these drawings on here, but better than taking two sheets to put this information. Okay, it's so difficult to grab that. There we got it. Okay, with this detail, we're going to try to get the column lines to align here a little better. And we can move this one down a little bit, it looks like. I can move the title text up closer. And we'll move the detail down a little bit. Okay, now the foundations are showing for these three. What isn't showing is the dashed line representing the, the piers. So I'm gonna go to that section. That section is longitudinal section looking north. And I'm going to click on this, go to view, show hidden lines. Okay, so first I want to pick the topography. 
um, before, wait, let's back up. We're gonna go to hidden, no, to wireframe. Under view, you wanna select show hidden lines, pick the topography first, then click on the three peers and then hit hidden line. And we have to do that one at a time, wireframe, show hidden lines, pick the topography, pick a peer. Let's just check, did it come on? Hidden line, there they are. Wireframe, show hidden lines, pick the topography, choose the peer. Okay, so they're all appearing. Now, one thing that we didn't really establish when we were looking at these is um, which ones really need to go down a little deeper. So let's see if we can't grab these all at the same time. I'm gonna make a window here. There should be three of them. And for the base offset, I'm gonna drop them down one foot by. So that one should be a little deeper. And for this one, I'm going to drop them down two feet. Okay, make a window, make sure you don't get some of these other things in your selection set there for the base offset. Let's make this minus two feet. You know, again, it's because our grade is shifting and, you know, basically what happens is we have a section of topsoil there until you can get to more stable ground. All right, now let's try to, should have done this with the other two. Let's align column line 12 all the way up and down the sheet. Okay. So roof plan is one longitudinal section looking north is two and the elevation should be south. Now, this isn't just south, that's kind of tied to the elevation view. Um, what we wanna do is change the title. Now, don't double click to change this. You wanna make sure you change it over here. This should read south elevation. And we're going to make these all capital letters. Okay, and let's go through and make sure these are all capitals as well. Now, this one says roof level. Same thing. We want to change it from saying south level to calling it roof plan. No, you don't want to. You just want to change it in here. Okay. All right, so that should take care of that sheet for the most part. And we want to give a name to this sheet. So I'm going to rename it over here. We're going to call it Roof Plan um, Section and south elevation, let's see if that fits. Okay, let's, that's fine. All right, so that sheet is done. And I'm gonna go to where we have these unnamed ones and I'm gonna right click on this and I'm just going to delete that sheet. 